Well, how are things in Ketchum, Idaho? They're great. It's a terrific summer. You been there? Yeah, for the for, for the first time in a while. But I've, I've been home all summer long, and I'm and that's where I'm planning on staying until at least September, October. Yeah, you've been working regularly and long. Yeah. For about the past two years. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Need a rest? My wife says I do. I've been home now for about a month and a half, and I'm starting to get back to my my old ornery self, <laughs> running the mountains and stuff. She'll throw you out soon. Yeah. Uh, how was the Silverado experience for Great. you? Great, terrific. It was. It was. It, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Have you ever played a westerner of any type? An urban cowboy, if you could call that guy a westerner, yeah. but he, he was, was western sleaze. Yeah, western sleaze, but not yeah. like this. Not this kind of heroic. Character. No, no, this is the first time. Well, what did you have to do? You like to get into your characters. How do you get into somebody that's uh, hadn't been around for, say, a hundred years, a western cowboy like that? Get to the location, in this case, New Mexico, real early. Spend as much time as you can with cowboys and wranglers. Pick up the rhythm of their language and, and the way they act. Read books about the, about the 1880s and, um, and spend as much time as you can learning the physical realities of the characters so that they're not, so that when when it's time to shoot it on film it's just a knee-jerk reaction in other words I couldn't ride a horse when I started the film mm. and now I can now I love to ride horses and uh, so that's what you do just how about you know, work with a weapon that was really fun I, I I've been around I've had an atavistic uh, love of firearms my whole life mm -hmm. and I've shot them but I've never I never fired a wheel gun, a revolver, and I've always fired automatic. So, learning how to, to draw and fire a single action Colt 45 was w it was tricky at the beginning, but now it's now I love to do it. I had this guy named Arvo Ojala, who's taught every Western actor from like the time of Marilyn Monroe on how to do that, mm -hmm. and he's a great. He's the fastest. He's the best person in the world at doing that, and he was a he's become a good friend of mine since since shooting shooting the film, and so I. But that's, you know, that's not tough to do. You want to learn something physical like drawing a gun and firing it fast, do it a thousand times every day. Simple as that. And, one of the, and, and you know, the day will come when it starts doing itself. So what effect is this going to have on your career now? You've, uh, the Urban Cowboy character was, I'm sure, caused a lot of scripts to come in yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. Probably most that you didn't want to do. That's right. Uh, in this case, you're going to get a lot of probably a certain kind of character. Mm -hmm. Are uh, you going to try to just react against that, or are you going to kind of go with the flow a little bit and be I, a hero for a while? I, I don't. I don't want to do either one. I, I, what I want to do is I want to listen to my my solar plexus, and I want to. I don't want to pay attention to whether my mouth is salivating or not when I read the script. And if and you know if it, if the tune makes my foot pound up and down, or it makes drool come out of my mouth, the the smell of the food cooking in the kitchen, mm -hmm. that's what I want to deal with. So I'm, I'm just looking for scripts that are going to turn me on. And, I, and 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 it might be a hero. It might be anything. Like could be a villain. Could be a hero. Could be a western. Could be a drawing room comedy. Just as long as it's good. Uh, we didn't talk much about Alan Shepard's character last time. I I was talking. I've got enough stuff now to do a long thing with you on how you prepare. How'd you prepare to be an astronaut? I don't think we talked about that. Well, with Shepard, it was a matter of of, of research as opposed to invention because the guy's alive, and I, I watched for two or three weeks, thousands of feet of film and videotape on, on Alan Shepard. Because I knew I was going to have to be, they use actual shots of Alan Shepard in the movie. I knew they were going to be cutting back and forth from NASA newsreel footage to me. So there's going to be me and Alan Shepard playing Alan Shepard in the movie. It meant, well, the first thing I knew, I was going to have to be right-handed. I'm left-handed. So I didn't wear a watch there. I wore it there. Instinctively, if I, if, when I would sit down to eat, I'd use my right hand, use my right hand. I'd try to use my right hand to write with. Uh, Shepard would never sit talking to you like this. He was American military aristocracy. He went to Admiral Farragut Prep School, then he went to Annapolis. His father was an, had been an officer in the Army. Shepard always sat relaxed but correctly military. And even if you were taller than him, he looked down at you. I mean, this is uh, this is Alan Shepard. Mm -hmm. It was, and I and 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 so for doing Shepard, a lot uh, the window dressing was real important. I had to get his mannerisms, get all of that down. As uh, as far as the inside of Alan Shepard, that was my own. Creation. But of all these characters, I think Alan Shepard might be a little bit closer to the real Scott Glenn, whoever the real Scott Glenn is. Whoever that is. Uh, is that a little bit 
more, I mean, as, as opposed to any of these other people in the river and all those other folks? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, you, are you a little bit more Kurt upright? Vonnegut wrote a short story about an actor, and it was called, Who Am I This Time? Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, you know. You have to ask, you know, probably my wife and kids could tell you a straighter answer. I don't know what, who's closest to me of all the characters I play. I Can you know. go back to when maybe you were a teenager before? Yeah. And, and who was that? Who was that Scott Glenn? Was he a, was he a good kid? Nice? Shy. Mm -hmm. uh, quiet. Loved sports. Did you get into fights? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're real big, you don't get in fights. I was, you know, I was skinny and, and, and aggressive, and that's a bad, bad combination in western Pennsylvania. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, yeah, I guess that's who I was. Yeah. It's always difficult to try to figure out who you are, because I don't think anybody knows who they are. No, it's a, it's a sure is a rough one. And you don't know who you're going to be when we meet again, right? That's it. You really don't. Well, that'll be interesting you know, to find out. Hopefully you go through life and you don't hurt anybody on purpose. Mm -hmm. and. And, and you know, try to keep a smile on your face as long as you can. You're pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Let me get a couple of cutaways and two. Speed. Okay. I'll tell you. I've got to be dumb here for a minute and look. <laughs>